So, I was really hoping that I would have a better game for you guys and a better uh, sound quality because I got a new microphone today, but it's in bubble packaging and I can't get it open and I just broke a paintbrush trying to pry it open because there's like a little perforated thing on it, but you can't do anything with it. And uh, I just watched a really, really depressing documentary on Netflix. I do not recommend it. So now I'm playing Goat Simulator because it's near the end of the month and I want to play Goat Simulator. Uh, this was like on my list of games that I would not play. I don't even have the sound on right now. This was on my list of games that I would not play, but I am just in a very bad mood. And the only thing suitable are goats that explode things. So welcome, this is Goat Simulator. Wait, did I did I really dodge that guy twice? I was trying to get hit. Wow. I can't even get hit by a car today. I'm having that shitty of a day <laughs> right now that I can't even get hit by a car <laughs> when I want to. Holy shit! I'm trying to jump right in front of him. I'm not trying to dodge him. What the fuck? Come on. Oh my god. I tripped on my way to getting hit by a car. Oh my god. Here, just... There we go. Oh my god. Fuck this game. Anyway, I'm, I'm in a bad mood right now. <laughs> Uh, I cleared my sinuses out for the next few months. Seriously, the, there was like, yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna go on about it, but oh my god. So much crying. I'm, I'm a really ugly crier too, I, I do like the, the full on sobbing and like, it, it's not pretty at all. I, I try to avoid it whenever possible. Yay! I trashed Goat Henge. Woo! Go me! Anyway, this is Goat Simulator. It's a terrible, awful game. You blow things up and you are a goat. You don't necessarily have to blow things up though. You can just walk around. You can walk down the street, do whatever you want. It's, it's an open world. It's a very small open world, but it's an open world full of endless possibilities and it's bright and cheerful and happy and it's full of goats so it's a very nice game um, pretty much the stupidest game you'll ever play but it's very nice I'm just gonna walk around whoa I I have actually never seen that before. I I don't know if that's new or what. I I honestly have never seen that before. That's I find new things every time. What an amazing game. This goat simulator. Ooh. Seriously, I have been never found that before. That's like ridiculously close to everything I've already known. You know how? Probably because I don't pay attention to anything. Um... Let's see... I'm not sure what I'm doing. But it doesn't matter, because there's nothing that you're supposed to be doing. The world is free and open and happy always get up when things push you down. Which is perfect after watching a depressing Netflix m documentary. I do not know how to do the uh, walk on your front legs a little thing. Uh, I think there was a thing that shows you how and I've tried it. But it doesn't work for me. For whatever reason. Um, so 
anyway, I was gonna do a let's play of the forest, like I said. I know, I know you're probably all disappointed that I'm not doing that, but um, in my defense, I didn't feel like it. Basically, if I was given the choice between, uh, you know, two different games, and they're both fighting against humanoid enemies that have questionable AI at times, and weird spawning habits with crafting and building and survival, uh, the forest was not going to be my first choice lately. Not when I have a city to build. Yeah. I, I love how I didn't even headbutt at that time. I, I planned to, and then I tripped and fell, and that was exactly as good. What a silly ass game. Can I just, like, lick this welding equipment? Excellent. You can also lick things and drag them around with you. And you get points for hopping over stuff or licking things or headbutting stuff. Or, um, jumping on a trampoline. See? It's worth mega points. I have no idea what keeps blowing up when I do that. I, I try to do that every time and see what blows up, and I have no idea. Anyway, I'm gonna finish off this beautiful, wonderful Let's Play. The best you've ever seen. And the obvious winner by climbing the goat tower. That's right. I'm the queen goat now. Bow to me, servants. Summon goat servants in the air. See? They never get back up. Oh. What's that? I think I was like pressing slow motion or something. Jumped over a broom. Oh yeah. I'm the master now. Oh, I wonder if you could climb this tree. But I want to climb the tree. Let me climb the tree. That's stupid. <laughs> I think this is the perfect way to end. <laughs> and then she just gets back up. Goats fall around her, knock her off her chair. The world is just full of dead goats. They're even in on her roof. All just collecting there. As the very world slows down, there's giant piles of goats around her. Falling in slow motion. How could you not love this game? This is the best game ever. This game makes me happy. When I am feeling blue. Thanks to Netflix. Oh my god, I love this. Tongue just flapping out. I need to make, like, right there. That's gonna be my screenshot. That's my thumbnail. 
feast of your eyes upon it. It is beautiful. The end, friends. I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of Goat Simulator. This is only a sneak peek of all the wonderful things that Goat Simulator has to offer. None of which you're going to see, because I don't feel like playing it anymore. But, it was fun for these ten minutes. Farewell. No, farewell. Yes, I wish to exit. I just said exit.